Hey, what's up, Stringlings? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be checking out this guy down here on the desktop, the Sunrise Amp Simulator from Mayfly Audio. Let's check it out. The Sunrise came out a little bit earlier this year, and uh, really, I think what uh, what Trevor May was going for was to have an amp in a box kind of a situation. Uh, and I have to say, I'm really, really impressed with this little unit. Uh, it's probably going to end up being on quite a few pedal demos moving forward because I can run this directly into my uh, recording software, into my DAW. Um, it has a built-in cabinet simulator. Just to give you a quick little kind of rundown on it, uh, it's designed to be kind of a blackface tone, um, I think like a Fender-y kind of American sound, um, with a built-in uh, cabinet simulator that uh, emulates the open back kind of uh, American sound, but you can also uh, open it up and inside there, there are controls inside the pedal itself that will allow you to do a close back if you want more of a British sound, more of a Marshall-y type uh, combo sound. A really great uh, thing to have kind of all in one pedal. Uh, just a quick rundown on the controls. It's, it's not overly complicated. It's actually pretty straightforward, simple to use. Uh, we've got a three band EQ on the preamp side um, including master and volume uh, in terms of the output controls. And I'm going to show you how these work uh, together uh, in a little bit. And then we also have a built-in reverb, which is really nice to have because really when you think about it, you want that reverb kind of going into the front of your amp. Uh, so having it actually built into the pedal means you can literally take this to the gig. It's got a quarter inch output. Um, you can run that directly to the front of house, to the mixing board, whatever, um, and it's going to sound great kind of regardless. So um, we're going to rig this up and I'm going straight into Reaper with no effects, no amps, no IRs, nothing. This is all going to be pedal tone. I'm using it as it comes out of the box. So let's uh, rig up and we're going to check this guy out. Okay, we're all set up here, and uh, today I'm going to be playing on this guitar. I just finished the setup on this for a client, so um, I know it plays well. Uh, this is a 2022 Epiphone uh, SG Modern. Um, it sounds great, plays great, uh, and it's just going to give us a really good kind of overview of the rock tones we're going to get out of this little preamp switch. Um, and uh, yeah, let's check this out. So here is my clean tone. There's nothing on this. It's completely dry. Okay, totally dry. That is just guitar into the DAW with no processing at all. Um, this is fully bypassed, okay? So I've got everything at noon and we're gonna switch this on. You'll hear the volume will cut because we've got the volume turned down by half. Okay, so with that volume cut, obviously <laughs> you're not going to get a ton out of it. So what happens if we turn the volume all the way down, I'm going to turn the master all the way up and then gradually work the volume. Notes notwithstanding, that's a great tone. Right? That's a really decent tone. If we bring the volume, sorry, if we bring the volume up just a bit more, we start getting up close to the edge of breakup, which is really nice because it actually is acting a lot like a tube amp with that little bit of extra volume. Take it past noon and we'll hear a little bit more of that. nice rich round sound to it. I've only got the EQ basically at, at 12 o'clock, right? So if we bring up a little bit of bass, we'll fatten it up, a little more treble for some uh, sparkle. Okay. 
yeah, that's that's great. Now, I don't want to drive this too much, but you can hear as we bring the volume up, the volume control up higher, it's getting more and more saturated as we go. That's as good an amp tone as you're going to get out of a pedal. I mean, that's pretty incredible. I'm going to take the master down just a bit more, turn the volume all the way up. So we'll have basically full saturation. Yeah, that is tight, decent sound. And you can see how even adding an overdrive in front of that, you know, maybe we'll play with this a little bit more as we as we uh, uh, introduce some new pedals over the fall. But um, yeah, you can get a lot of great tone out of this just using this as your amplifier for, you know, for gigging and on stage. You put that on your pedal board, you don't have to bring an amp with you. bonus is we've got a built-in reverb which you can just hear a little bit well this control up here blends the reverb in and the dwell gives you how long that reverb hangs on so we can go all the way up to full canyon reverb It's a bit too much, right? Um, if we take the reverb control all the way up, you can hear how much of an echo there is. That's a big room, right? Tiny bit more dwell, tiny bit less reverb. Tune that E string. And take that reverb off again. Now, one thing I want to show you is what happens if we take the master control all the way up, and then just and then just gradually work the volume in. get just a little hint of bleed through there. But it's a great, great classic tube amp sound. Cleans up very nicely with a softer pick. Great, great classic sound. I love it. I love this so much. I'll take it the other way around. I'll turn the volume all the way up and gradually work the master and get more of that saturated distortion zone, right? So between the two of them, you can really dial in kind of exactly the, the sound you want for your cleans, your dirties, everything in between. Personally, Personally, I like it on the cleaner side because as a pedal platform, you can put other stuff in front of this. You can put a, another overdrive in front of it. We've got some other really cool things coming in from Mayfly this week as well. So even at this level, it's got a tiny bit of breakup to it if you really push it hard, but it's still clean enough to be a clean pedal, right? Yeah.
and great sounding pedal. So that's a general overview, very, very brief overview actually of the Sunrise Amp Simulator from Mayfly Audio. I am going to be using this in more demos because it's just a really great kind of clean platform. Uh, you can dig into it with other pedals, which, you know, as I said, I'm going to show you as we go. So we'll get a little bit more of the uh, of the nuance and the uh, capacity, the behavior of this pedal. Uh, but I think honestly, um, for me, I'm all about trying to trim down the size of the rig as much as possible. I know, I know, I know, like people who know me see me walk around these big pedal boards. There's one back here that I'm working on. It's got, you know, a dozen pedals or more on it. That's for, for flexibility. But when it comes to gigging, once you've kind of figured out what it is you need uh, for the for the basics, you can get away with one amp. You can really get away with one amp and one guitar and play, you know, the vast majority of, of, of you know, rock, country, blues with that. But with the Sunrise pedal, you don't even need the amp. You can bring this pedal in. Uh, plug it in, go straight to the board. Uh, the other thing feature that I did forget to mention, it does have a uh, one eighth inch jack on the side stereo jack for headphones. So if you wanted to play uh, quietly, you just plug your headphones in there and you can practice uh, with that as well. Uh, so another you know great feature, the fact that it has reverb built into it, it's really just kind of an all in one package. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, and on top of that, Mayfly just makes amazing electronics. So 100% worth checking out. I want to just give a quick shout out and thank you to Trevor uh, Trevor May at Mayfly Audio for sending this over. Um, and let everybody know that if you want a little bit more discussion about um, pedals, amps, guitars, tone, weird things about music and the strange kind of things that happen, you know, um, occasionally that come across the workbench, uh, there is a link to my newsletter down in the description. Please sign up. It's completely free. There's over 5,000 subscribers in that newsletter right now. Uh, and I would love to have you along for that ride as well. So that's it for now. Uh, take care. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys again really soon.